One year ago I got myself a kitten and called her Junior because we both have the same ginger and white fur. I thought it would be a nice idea to make a video celebrating this one year anniversary, aka the anniversary, to review her, sharing the good, the bad and the ugly. Hopefully this video will be enlightening for anyone considering getting a cat themselves. So in no particular order, let's jump into the good. First up we have the fact that she likes to help out around the house. Whenever I'm changing my bed sheets, she does her best to assist me. She's not particularly good at it, but it's the thought that counts. At one point she did try to expand her housework skill set and attempted to check that the clothes drying rack was up to her standards. That venture had mixed results. Number two on the good list is that she has unexpectedly made me money even after the cost of buying her, her insurance, her cocaine habit, her vet bills, food bills and litter bills. The first video that I made of her has, to date, received 674,000 views, which has resulted in £1,281.82p or $1,627.14. She has also flexed her influencer muscles and received a couple of brand deals worth about £2,000 or $2,500, which means in total she's made about £3,200 or $4,100. So not only does she help with the household chores, she actually pays some of the bills. On a similar point, I feel like Junior has helped make the videos on this channel much more interesting. Whatever I'm doing, she follows me about and gets involved, whether I'm showering, watering my plants, baking cakes. She is always willing to lend a helping paw and I'm very thankful for that. I feel like everyone who watches my videos appreciates her work ethic as well. One very good thing about having a cat is that my happiness and sense of purpose in life has increased by about 23.7%. Literally any time I want, I can go and squeeze her head and receive a little boost of serotonin. Whenever I come home after being out anywhere, she's always waiting for me at the top of the stairs, which is just quite a nice feeling. Sometimes I'll just be lying in my bed in the middle of the night, shout on her, and just hear her come thumping down the stairs to see me. So that's all been quite good for me. The fifth very good thing about her is that she has a really bushy tail. You might be wondering, why is that good? I don't actually have a logical reason, I just think it's quite good. Moving into the bad things about Junior and cat ownership, she frequently does this incredibly annoying treadmill moonwalk whenever she's in my room, and I'm trying to sleep. I really don't know what her aim is here, she doesn't seem to want to come under the covers and that's the only plausible reason I could think of. If anyone has any theories, please leave a comment. On the topic of sleep, this is a fitting time to mention this video's sponsor, Manta Sleep, who I am actually running a little giveaway with today. I've been using their Pro Sleep Mask for a few months now and this has resulted in me having the best sleep I've had in years. These masks are incredibly soft, completely black out all light and are really comfortable, even as a side sleeper who overheats during the night. I've tried generic sleep masks in the past and always been so disappointed by the quality of them, both in terms of comfort and because of how much light they let in under the nose. Manta's masks fix all of these problems and come in a variety of styles depending on your needs. So on to the giveaway. If you buy any item from Manta's website using the code GEORGE10 at checkout, you'll receive a 10% discount on your order, but also have a chance to win one of their premium sound sleep masks. This mask comes with built-in Bluetooth headphones, meaning you can doze off whilst listening to ambient rainfall videos. To enter the giveaway, just place an order on their website using code GEORGE10, take a screenshot of your order, send me the screenshot in an Instagram message and I'll randomly pick a winner in 48 hours. You can then keep the mask for yourself or share the gift of sleep with a family member or a friend. You spend about one third of your life asleep, so it is worth dropping a little investment into making sure you get the best sleep you possibly can. 
Moving on to the next bad point about Junior, she causes me daily panics by constantly tap dancing across the railings above my stairs. If you've watched the video from when I first got her, you'll remember this was a point of great concern for me after I spotted her one day just hanging out over the drop. To remedy that, I made the ugliest barrier imaginable so that she wouldn't fall. Fast forward a year and she really doesn't give a f and there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. She'll run across the bars, spin around on the bars, even tried to catch her tail through the bars. So I'm looking forward to moving out of here so that I don't have to worry about this particular problem anymore. On to bad point number three, her fluff gets everywhere. It gets on my furniture, on my clothes, in my food. I can spend a good few minutes sorting out my clothes with a lint roller before I go anywhere, but I still somehow always manage to end up with it all over me again after leaving the house. I like wearing black, but I really can't do it anymore because the fluff shows up so easily. I think this is something that you just have to accept when you own cats, unless you get one of those hairless ones that kind of looks like a lung. The next bad point, which isn't really a hugely bad point, is that I do think I need to get another cat to keep her company. To stop her from getting lonely, I stick Junior in her travel basket every night and take her around to see my parents' cats, Harry and Smokey. She seems to absolutely love this and actually goes into the basket herself when I shout on her asking if we'll go and see Harry. Although it is nice for her to go and see them every night, I'm planning to get another kitten within the next year so that she constantly has a friend to hang out with. She's a really friendly and happy cat, so I'm pretty confident she'd get on well with a new kitten. As I said at the start of the video, I want to tell you about the good, the bad and the ugly, and we've arrived at the ugly. There's actually only one ugly point worth mentioning about Junior, and that is she has the most stinking poops I've ever encountered. I've changed her food multiple times throughout this year, and it seems to make no difference at all. I've tried dry food, wet food, fish, poultry, red meat, nothing seems to make a difference. I guess one silver lining is that when I initially got her, she was farting her head off the whole time, and thankfully that doesn't happen anymore. Still, if anyone has any tips on how to reduce the foulness that she emits, that would be much appreciated. I was considering getting one of those auto cleaning litter trays, so if anyone has tried one of them, let me know if they actually help mitigate the honk. Tallying up all of the good, the bad and the ugly, I'll give Junior a 12 out of 10. I'm very glad I got her, and if you're thinking about getting a cat yourself, you definitely should. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate you taking a second to leave a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.